friends. Welcome to this edition of Inspirational Guide. My name is Elvis, and I'm so excited to be here again today. I hope you enjoyed the previous episodes. In case you are new to the channel, kindly click on the subscription button below and the notification bell, and you will be notified when a new video is uploaded. Today, I'm coming to you with a fresh and a new dose. Caption, born to be fruitful. And the goal of this presentation is to bring youth to the understanding that they are born to be fruitful and not to be a source of predicament or unfruitfulness. I know you are so excited to get this come across to you. So why not sit back, relax, get yourself ready, and I will be right back. Welcome back. Our pensive point, there is always something for you to do. And there is nothing in doing nothing. What then is fruitfulness? Fruitfulness is a state of being productive or prolific. But you cannot achieve fruitfulness without God, for he is the giver. How do we know this? Scripture speaking in Genesis 1.28 and God speaking to them saying, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. So, fruitfulness leads to multiplication and dominion in all your endeavors. When you are fruitful, it gives meaning to your life, hence making you useful. Since this cannot be achieved on a platform of laziness, it is but important that we work hard and diligently to make ourselves candidates. What are some of the factors leading to fruitlessness? That is some of those things that make us not to be fruitful. Number one, the absence of God. God has to be the first and at the center of whatever we do. Proverbs 16 3. Commit to the Lord whatever that you do, and He will establish your plans. Number two, lack of will, zeal, and ambition. Number three, lack of knowledge. We are talking of ignorance here. If you have no idea of what you want to become, then fruitfulness is far fetched. Number four, bad or unpleasant behavior. How you behave can position you for or can remove you out of blessings. Number five, your mindset. This is so key to fruitfulness. You should renew your mindset. No wonder the scripture speaking in Ephesians 4.23 and be ye renewed in the spirit of your mind. For instance, you should think and work constantly towards the needed change for that situation of yours or that of your family instead of relying on others to do so. And when you are on that path, you are limiting yourself to the mercy or the forces of dependency. How then do we become fruitful? You have to consciously decide to be one. Oh yes, it is your decision to make. Number two, position yourself to work with God. This is so important and we cannot overemphasize this. God is the one who makes us fruitful. He is the giver of fruitfulness. No wonder the Bible is speaking in John 15, 4. Abide in me and I in you. For the branch cannot bear any fruit of itself except it abide to the vine. So you have to abide in God in whatever thing you do so that he prospers you and makes you fruitful. Number three, define a career path. Set reasonable long and short-term goals. 
number four point of how to become fruitful you have to prune yourself of unwanted character work diligently and above all be disciplined number five reflect purposely on what you currently do and also reflect on your values and your beliefs now i would like us to discuss some of the outcomes of not being fruitful what do you stand to lose if you are not fruitful number one it leads to stagnation and increase in poverty rate both at the individual and at the family level number two it promotes and increase the rate of dependency on others hence impeding progress number three it builds up hatred and kills love amongst family members and friends of course this is a heavy killer of love when you are not fruitful you know they they tend to be hatred you know all around you and even among other people for instance there are some people family members and friends inclusive that get angry and develop hatred for others simply because they are progressing or they are fruitful in life making them look as if they are the source of their retrogression no 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 they are not the cause you are the issue simply because you are lazy so friends wake up number four being fruitless ushers you to the realm of shame envy frustration lack and want lack of blessings and which may result to increase suicidal rate you agree with me that there are many people that have cut their life short and they have committed suicide simply because they feel they have nothing to offer to themselves or to other people the bible speaking in matthew 7 19 every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire so you wouldn't want to be that tree number five when you are unproductive you cannot support your parents friends family members and others and that may result to their untimely demise or can attract parental curses you also agree with me here that there are some parents that have repeatedly cursed their children simply because they cannot support them or help them in time of need. Number six, not being fruitful hinders societal growth and retards development, both educationally, socially, and economically. Now, what are some of the outcomes of being fruitful now if you work hard you work diligently and you are fruitful what are some of the things you stand to gain number one it results to self growth progress and establishment in life the book of first timothy chapter 4 verse 15 practice these things immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress so as you practice them as you make yourself fruitful, progress is on your way. Number two, it empowers the family and curbs dependency rate, thereby improving living standards and lifestyle. Of course, once there's fruitfulness, you stand the chance of improving your family. Once there is fruitfulness, the family situation living standards and otherwise stand a chance of being improved number three people who are fruitful they become a blessing to others which kills destroys or reduces stagnation rate and poverty rate leading to continuous or increased blessings of course when you are a source of blessing to others you stand a chance of being blessed abundantly the scripture confirms this in proverbs eleven twenty-five: the one who blesses others abundantly is also blessed and those who help others are also helped number four when you are fruitful 
It commands respect and brings about happiness, love, peace, and serenity within the family, the environment, and the society at large. Titus 2.7, scripture speaking there, show yourself in all respect to be a model of good works and in all your teachings show integrity and dignity. For instance, you know why people don't respect you both in the society and even at the level of your family the way they ought to? Straight, simple. It's because you cannot pay for their respect as you have nothing to offer them. So folks, work for it. Number five, as you are fruitful, you become relevant to society and a reference which people cannot despise. Also, you know why people don't call you as often as you thought they would? It's simply because you have nothing to bless them with. So if you want to see people reaching out to you, if you want to see people calling you the way you expect them to do, sit up, get yourself fruitful, and you see them coming to you. Point to note, you were born to be productive and useful in life and to positively fill a gap in the society. Take note of the point, positive, because there are some people that only exist in the society, but they are not living in the society because they are not fruitful. Their path cannot be traced. Number two, you have to note that you were born to be a source of blessing to others and not always expect others to bless you. Scriptures confirms this in Matthew 7, 12. So whatever you wish that others will do to you, do also to them. Of course, that is the law of the prophets. For instance, you are supposed to be a source of blessings to your parents, family members, friends, and the society at large, and not to be a source of nuisance, sorrow, burden, a source of predicament or embarrassment. So think about it. Think of blessing others as well. Number three, you need to take actions to be fruitful. It is not on the palms of the lazy. You have to take actions to become relevant, have something to offer, and be a source of blessing. Number four, and the most important one, Remember to put God first and always for him to light up your path. The scripture speaking in Proverbs 4.18, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto a perfect day. As God's light shines upon you, fruitfulness is on your palms. In conclusion, do it now. This is the only reason you took off time to watch this video. Scriptures speaking in James 4, 17. So whosoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Not only doing it, I must admonish you, but know that time is not on your side. How do we know this? Scriptures confirms as the Bible speaking in Romans 13, 11. And do this, understanding the present time. For the hour has come for you to wake up from slumber. So folks, it is in the doing. It is when you take actions. It is when you take actions. I want to leave you with the words of my father in the faith, Bishop David Oyedepo, that youths and the young people need to be responsible and they need to be value-adding citizens of the earth. 
End of quote. So folks, go to work. Become fruitful. Become useful. Become a source of blessing. Be responsible so as to add value both to yourself and to society. And then you come share with us. If you enjoyed this video, kindly click on the subscription button below and the notification bell and you will be notified when a new video is uploaded. You can like and share to friends and loved ones. You may leave us a comment and we will be glad to respond. From me to you, it is peace. Thank you.